Alrighty, so we've got a sale going on, ends today, the link's below. Plus, I'm getting ready to do something a little different. I'm getting ready to do a done-for-you service where we will set up your holding company and your operating companies and go ahead and explain to you how to get the business credit stuff. So this is one of the things. This is not something that's going to be open to previous students unless they want to pay because there's going to be a cost to set this up. So this is something that if you want to get into it, it'll be another link. There'll be two links below, one for the sale and one for the done for you, where we're going to do your holding company. We're going to do your operating companies. We're going to set you with business credit. We're going to get your virtual address. We're going to do all of that stuff for you. So if you want that, the links below. All right, so let's get into this video. There are a lot of women who are going to OnlyFans. Many, many women are going to OnlyFans. And what's happening is this is producing a very different kind of problem. One of the things that is happening with all of these women going to OnlyFans is they're encountering the broke men. And there's something that's starting to happen. These women are finding out, and let, let me just go ahead and talk about the things that they do, which don't appeal to me. Um, but essentially, these women are going on there, they're getting nude, they're showing things, they're inserting toys, they're playing around, and they're being exposed to the lower economic, the failed men. And these women are starting to get emotionally harmed because they're interacting with these failed men. There's been numerous videos of why women are starting to see the downside to only fans. And it's just funny. So one of the things that's happening is when these girls go on only fans, they give these um, let's socially lower class men access. These men have the access to message them, to talk to them all for 24 bucks a month. And what's happening is these women are finding out that the lower class man, and I'll explain later what's up with the lower class man is not the six by six by six six foot tall, six figure account. They're not these kind of dudes. These are because like essentially these women are kind of bugging out because they're dealing with these low class men. And also they're dealing with the shame of doing what they're doing, because essentially what's going to happen for the women who can stick it out for the women who can get around the low class men, this opens up the door for these women getting involved in paid escort work. That's the next step, because there are so many women that have defaulted to an OnlyFans lifestyle that have defaulted to going to OnlyFans. They got bills to pay. This is a way for them to scratch up some money. But now they're being exposed to these men and it's kind of it's kind of messing them up because these women had the expectation that they would be exposed to the kind of men that they dated. <laughs> it, it is nothing like that. It is nothing like that. And what they're finding out to get this money, there's a very heavy, heavy price. Now, there's a group of girls who are doing what I call the only fans bamboozle. These are girls who will set up an OnlyFans page and they will only send pictures of you of them clothed. Um, there's a lot of them doing that. And that typically doesn't last that long. But first of all, you got to look at the girl who does OnlyFans. Now, we have changed as a country because, you know, the girls would go 
work in strip clubs. They usually came from socially bad economic outcomes. They, they, their parents didn't do that well. But now you literally have it's become a thing. Um, there's this girl here on YouTube called her name, the ER nurse. And she has this. This woman is a nurse. She's married. She's in a doctorate program and she participates in only fan. And years and years ago, you would not have a woman who's a nurse in the doctorate program participate in OnlyFans. That would have never happened. So from a social economic standpoint, our morals are much looser than they used to be because, oh, and this woman is also married. And I'm going to talk about that at length. Actually, I'm going to just go ahead and talk about that. I, as a man, would not have a girlfriend or wife who would be a stripper, participate in the OnlyFans. It, it just would be a no-go. Because here's the thing. These women who participate in these type of activities, their orientation towards men dramatically changes. They don't look as a guy as a guy. They look as a guy as a paycheck. So personally, I would not engage with anyone who's a stripper, only fans deal or an escort. It's just it's just not it's just not going to work. But there are more and more and more women who are resorting to this type of work because one, it doesn't require them to get in their car and go somewhere and work 40 hours. And it seems to be easier, but what I predict is since there is a run on women who are running to OnlyFans, what's the name of that website? Chatterbait. Chatterbait. Um, I think there's one by the name of Camster. Um, there are all of these sites where you can see a woman online who is just nude, I would say, and doing certain things, right? And there is a flock of women running to this, this work. And what you're going to see in the next 10 years is we may have legal prostitution across the United States. I know that sounds a little strange, but we're going to have more and more and more and more women running to sex work. I would consider a woman who does OnlyFans or any of these Internet websites is a form of sex work. They may not actually be meeting clients, but it's a form of sex work. And this right here opens the door to higher levels of sex work. I understand that many of these women in the future will become escorts because luxuries once tasted become necessities. If you can make, let's say, $3,000 a week and you're only working 10 hours, 10 hours. It's, it's real hard. It's going to be real hard to get you to work in a quick trip. It's going to be real hard to get you to work in that plant because luxuries once tasted become necessities. So we're going to see a vast, a vast wave of women move towards sex work in this recessionary area. So this is where these women, these IE cute women and. I'm going to say something, because when I was doing a little research in this, I saw women. I was just like, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Someone's going to pay you. And so there are more and more women running to this this type of work. And one of the things that is happening is these women are descending they're not elevating. Uh, one of the things that was happening is if you become a sex worker, a stripper, a prostitute, you as a woman are exercising your right to be. And I, I think that's a false herring. I don't think that's anywhere near true. 
And one of the things that's happening is a lot of women who are going out and declaring their independence are finding out it's a trap. It's a trap because I just never really thought about it until I started seeing these videos popping up of all of these women who have ran the OnlyFans and other stuff who are just literally freaking out because they were on these websites doing these things and they got exposed to the lower class man. Now let's talk about the lower class man. This is something that has been going on. And first of all, we'll talk about the white man. The white man or the average white man, let's go ahead and say this. The average white man is not in charge of nothing. He's not running anything. He doesn't manage anything. He's getting sued by his ex-wife. He's losing money in child support. So this dude is just literally getting screwed. So that's the average white man. And then the average Mexican and the average black man and the average Asian man, it gets even worse as they go down the list. So these men who are um, not having sex, there's a guy by the name, I believe his name is Chris Williams. For me, it's a podcast here on YouTube. And this is the greatest level of men who are actively not having sex. So this is a very large percentage of the men who support OnlyFans and all of these websites and Pornhub and YouPorn and all this other stuff. Right. So these men are not having actual sex. They are um, jacking off to porn. And what's happening is their sexual or their sexual responses are all screwed up all screwed up a lot of these guys would be impotent if they were presented with a real woman so what we have here is this hot mess of all these women descending these women are not elevating they're descending and for the women who make all this money doing this stuff uh let me go ahead and break it down to you there's a hundred million youtube channels right there's only 10 million YouTube channels with a thousand subscribers. And then there's only there's only 362,000 with 100,000 subscribers. And I feel that the same dynamics work in the sex work trade that the top women make the majority of the money where the average Polly and Susie gets on there. They, they're making chump change. And what you're seeing is a vast number of women run to OnlyFans and these internet websites and they're getting more and more exposed to the basic sexless man who is angry, who is frustrated and who literally, who literally is losing his mind in the world today. So these women are starting to hear responses from these men, which are not kind, which are not nice, because these men are really, really frustrated. They're really, really frustrated and they're really, really upset. And essentially, they're unleashing on these women and these women are now asking themselves is going on these websites and doing this work. Is this actually a good thing? Because. You'll hear that these women have limits to what they will do and what they will not do and all this other stuff. But the reality is, if you are a woman and you're going on the Internet and you're taking your clothes off, you're exposing yourself in more ways than just your body being bare. You're exposing yourself. And what I what I feel is going to happen is this stuff is going to come back on these women and especially the women who have children. What's going to happen is their little son and daughter is going to be in school. And then one of their classmates is going to find it. It's like, hey, John, is this your mom? And the mom's going to be online doing all of this stuff. And the kids are going to go home and they're going to be like, mom, 
Did you ever do anything on the Internet? And this is going to just create this cascading situation because the woman will do it when she's young. She don't really think nothing about it. Then she gets older and she stops doing it. Then she has a family. Then it starts coming back to haunt her. It comes back to haunt her. Her husband and their kids, they didn't know she did this stuff. Then all of a sudden it breaks loose and it starts coming out. And now she's got to rectify and identify and explain herself to her husband and her kids. And essentially, once this stuff gets online, it never comes off. It never comes off. Uh, there was a porn star who was an underage girl, Tracy Lords. You could Google and still find her stuff. And this is like 20, 30 years ago. So one of the things that we will see as these women who get into the OnlyFans economic. I would say OnlyFans is like a gateway drug. It just opens the door to more and more and more things. It just sets that up. It just sets that up. And what we're going to see is a completely different society in the next 10 years because there are more and more women who are going to do it because, you know, you have the women here on YouTube and TikTok and all this other stuff talking about it's great. It's a good way to make some extra money. Let me go ahead and tell you something. If you're a woman who's thinking about it and you see this video, Understand that the women on TikTok and YouTube make money from you watching their videos. So they're not going to tell you about the tragedy and the bad things and the, 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 the downside. They're not going to mention the perverted things. And some of these girls who do this stuff, some of these um, basic men, we'll call them basic men, will actually find out where they live and pay them a visit. Yes. Doxing happens all over the place. So right now, we, we I call it the OnlyFans economy. And one of the things that's going to happen as you get into this stuff is there's going to be more and more people getting into it, setting up for it and doing it. And as they keep running across these sexless, lonely, upset and angry men, it's just going to turn. It's like a hot mess. It's a hot mess because uh, there was a woman who's doing this stuff and she's literally about to cry because all the responses that she's gotten from being on the OnlyFans site. She's like, I think she actually did break down and cry. And one of the things that you will see over and over again is these people who are doing this stuff are running into these situations where they have to ask themselves, uh, am I going to be all right? Because when really cute girls encounter basic men, and this is a problem for strippers, this is a big issue that strippers deal with. A stripper being the club should do. And then one of these basic men's will take a liking to her and make, turn her life into a living hell. So, as we get into this with the OnlyFans world and the OnlyFans chicks and the OnlyFans deals, we're going to consistently, consistently hear about this. And I believe there have been some of these OnlyFans girls that have been murdered. I believe some of them have been abused. A lot of them have been abused. And it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. Because this is the OnlyFans economy, which also is the doorway to a higher level of sex work. Because once we go ahead and we start doing this stuff, and then if the women get into it and they can just deal with the bad men and they're like, I need to make some more money, they're going to start escorting. They're going to start escorting. Or they're going to, it's just a crazy, crazy thing. That is beginning to happen with the OnlyFans economy. But mark my words, this is not going to stop women from going to OnlyFans. This is not going to stop women from becoming strippers. This is not going to stop women from becoming porn stars. And also, many women see OnlyFans as a softer, easier form of porn. But 
this will open up the door. And I got a question for you. How many of these porn stars do you see here on YouTube who used to be porn stars? They used to be porn stars. Used to be. That should tell you something. There's a lot of them who are former porn stars because it got too rough. It got crazy and it just became a really hostile environment for them to occupy. And it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. It's just going to continue to get worse and worse and worse. And this is one of the things that we have in the OnlyFans economy. So be sure, you know, I would say if you're a man. Do not subscribe to one of these OnlyFans chicks. Do not sign up for uh, these jacking off sessions, watching Internet porn, because this is something that we're going to address in the man course. So be sure to check that out. That's all I got for you guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.